welcome to my second video in this video i will give you a much more detailed description of what dy graphs is how it runs in the background as well as a brief introduction to options so right now i'll quickly create another graph for you so first step is to copy paste the scripts address over here and then create a div element so create a div element and give it an ID of rain man all right so that is done you're done with the HTML work now getting into the JavaScript instantiate a new object let us call it qwerty is equal to new UI graph open brackets and then yeah it's time for some lessons so yeah the first attribute always in the bracket is going to refer to the division element which you just created so if you create two division elements and but if you want so let us say there is another division element with an id of sunman all right i know it's pretty lame but yeah so if you want to reference the graph to rain man what happens is that now this element will hold the graph if you reference it to sunman this element will hold the graph now this is useful when you want to shift your graphs to different locations on your website this document dot get element by id make sure you follow this this rule of capital e capital b and capital i in the quotations type rain man yeah so as soon as you're done with that give a comma to tell the brain the main brain that you're done with the first attribute the second attribute is all about data so the first attribute is about the address the division element the second attribute is about the data the data is in general csv format as we have seen in the last example so i'll create one quick new funky data for you over here let us say people and pokemon so backslash n so just go and press run so as you can see we have a graph over here all right so one another very important lesson of the day is that you can zoom into your graphs any way you want so for example you want to take a quick look a better look as to what's going on over here in the graph you can keep zooming on all you need to do is just click and drag click and drag all right pressing run again will refresh the whole thing so you can see that this guy has 15 this guy has 25 pokemon and this guy has i mean 40 people have 10 pokemon each okay so you can see that the zooming is going on till whatever level you wish for it to go all right so that is one feature of dy graphs which comes very very much automatically now i would like to give a brief introduction to this third field the third attribute which you can use and which is generally used for options now what are options options are ways to make your graphs and presentation much better the important lesson of the day is that always put a comma to tell the brain the js code or whatever is executing your code that you're done with your data your data is this you're referencing the element over here which is the first attribute this is the second attribute and the third attribute is after the comma and comes in the curly braces always remember curly braces are required for options so one quick example which i want to show as an option over here is animated zooms so set it to true the default value is false and when you set it to true and run it oops wait a sec you should put the semicolon here not here do not make the same mistake that i have made please okay so when you run it now as you can see see that see that Instead of jarring appearance, your graphs will zoom in with much more decency. All right. So let us say we put it to false. Now you can see that the zooming is jarry again. 
so this is a brief introduction to options set it back to true oops no semicolon so you can see that all right thanks a lot for watching this video in the next video i'll talk about much more cool dy graph stuff until then share like and subscribe to my channel i hope to teach you all much more all right see ya